Hare 
searching him came at that place. And weeping he began to tell, Oh Prabhu, what I am seeing, I am thinking that now you are going to finish or oh, you are preparing to leave this world forever. Please take me also with you. Without you, I cannot be there. Anyway, Krishna told, Oh, you will have to live here. Keep in your heart me always. Always see me in your heart. And be detached from worldly things. And especially you have no married, no daughter, sons. So, being one contact to me, you should travel the whole world. Especially, you must go to Himalaya, Badri Narayan, Himalaya Narayan Ashram, Badri Ashram. Badri Ashram. Uthar told, please give me some instructions that I can be there. Or freely I can travel the whole world, singing your glories everywhere. Then Krishna began to tell, Keep me in your heart, and you should know that in this world, all living entities they eat other living entity. Those who have two legs. They take others meat anyhow. And I have sixty uh, yeah. created. I have created two legged persons, three, four, five more. This human body is very dear to me. Even demigods, they want this human body form. But it is not available for them. Now, those who live in this world, especially human, human forms, very, very rare, if anyhow, by mercy, they have received it. But it is only for few days or years. It is nashva. Perishable. You should know. And those who have taken birth, after some time they must be old. And in old age so many rocks will come. Diseases. Diseases will come. And sons will, what? will not obey you and disturb you. The matter that go out of our house. So, I tell you to be detached from world. And inside, 
किटिंग मी कि उसको ट्रैवल इन दिस वर्ल्ड सिंगिंग माई ग्लोरी इन दिस कनेक्शन ऋषि महर्षि ऑफ ओल्ड टाइम टेल वन हिस्ट्री वंस जदू महाराज a very religious person king he met a very young rishi nevan dattatreya he was quite little young but he was young but little nothing he had nothing Alone, traveling whole world. He also is different. Knew that where to go, but where his feet were going, he used to go. Anywhere not attached. He was so happy, and he was also very healthy. Healthy. Yadu Maharaj saw him. and big pranam and by holding his hand passed him o prabhu you are really a rishi and muni i see that you have nothing that you call that this is mine you are quite naked no cloth Go find anything, but you are so happy. How you are happy? In this world, the person, human being, they want wealth, they want money, fire, wife, children, and position, good position. So they having all these things, even they are not happy. So please tell me why you are so happy. Seeing this, hearing this, the Tate was very kind. He never used to talk with anyone, only tell me. But today, hearing the question of King Jadu, oh, he became. Very merciful, and began to tell that O King, I have met twenty-four gurus, and by them I learned so many things, and that is why I am traveling in the old world without any attachment, having nothing to eat or anything. By chance, anything comes. I eat or never. I wait for them. I know that whether we want suffering or not, it must come. So, if happiness, food is there, it must come. Why should I give up? And that is why I am happy. Why should she say all these things to Buddha? Oh, you should be like this. And why myself is telling to you all? You know that you should be like that. Then you can be happy. You should desire wealth. You you desire high position. So many things. You want to collect so much money to be happy? Oh, you cannot be happy. So he tell him that my guru, at twenty-four, art. Oh, name. Come out, name.
So the 24 gurus, which have been mentioned by this great sage, Dattatreya, which Srila Gurudev is now going to instruct us on from 11th Canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, these are the 24 gurus which this great sage uh, explained to King Yadu, Maharaj Yadu. He said, I have taken shelter of 24 gurus who are the following, the earth, the air, sky, water, fire, moon, sun, pigeon and python, the sea, the moth, the honeybee, the elephant, and the honey thief, the deer, the fish, the prostitute named Pingala, the Kurara bird, and the child, and the young girl, the arrow maker, the serpent, the spider, and the wasp. My dear king, by studying their activities, I have learned the science of the self. Please listen, O son of Maharaj Yayati, O tiger among men, as I explain to you what I have learned from each of these gurus. So just sort of here, being one point. What here? Try to follow your own life. Not like hearing from this year and going from that year. Whatever you hear, you should try to promise that as much as possible, I will try to follow all these instructions. So he began to tell what he has learned from all these gurus. You know that Diksha Guru one, Malli, and Siksha Guru may be so many, but all Siksha Guru should be like Diksha Guru in one line. If Diksha Guru is not of so many kinds, other, other paths, they are not really Siksha Guru. What he is telling here, they are not really like Siksha Guru, but he thinks that they are Siksha Guru. Tree is not Siksha Guru. Air is not Siksha Guru. But anyone can think, oh, he is my Siksha Guru tree, as Tunadapi Sunechena Taro Rapi Because we can learn something to be tolerant. So we can think them good. So in this way he is thinking 24. They are not speaking. They will not speak. But by their actions he is thinking like so. So we must also follow these instructions. Oh, I have taken Siksha instructions from these earth. Earth has to tolerance quality. If you can be anywhere, you can do pass urine or lettering, you can do anything, but art will not tell anything. She will tolerate. So, a Buddhiman Guru, intelligent person, intelligent person
So, in any case, if any suffering coming, he should not be upset, disturbed. From earth, trees are coming, mountains are coming. We should learn how to be tolerant. A tree never wants any water or anything. If in dry season a tree is going to be dry, even then not ask, oh, give me water. If you go there, if we give say, through Sheetal say, Cool said. Very cooling. Very cooling said. Uh, cooling You can cut the branches of tree. You can make so many tables and furniture or anything from here that goes. If you will throw a stone. Throw any stone they will give their fruits to you. Yeah. If you will cut their branches, they will never tell that, don't cut me. So a Vaishnava should be tolerant like tree. That is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, if you want to chant name, and by that name you want to have flame, and O Raya Ramananda and Swarup Damodha you should hear. Kirupe Laile Naam Prem Upajaya. In what way we should chant the name that, oh, very soon Krishna Prem will come. Pinadapi Suni Chena. More Suni Humble. Humble than a brave blade of cross. If you will put your feet on that, they will be down and after that again they will stand. But Vaishnava always very, very humble. You should all try to be humble like a blade of cross. We should learn it in our life. And Tarurapi Sahishnuna are told about trees. More tolerant than trees. As a bark of tree, a branch of tree, a seed of tree, a fruit of a tree, everything is for others. Our intelligence, our wealth, our position, Every sort of thing be for others. Vaishnava always, they are alive only for the others. Other mind, no use. When they travel here and there, only for others. Nara, Rishi has nothing to take anything from worldly person. But he goes door to door for glorifying Krishna how they will be liberated and how they will have Krishna Krishna. Pinadapi Tarurapi Sahishmana Amanina Manadena Don't ask any, don't want your or glory, but be proper honor to all because Krishna is there in their hearts. All right. Yesterday I told you, you should do pranam to all the trees, creepers, persons here, there, because Krishna is there. Or Krishna you should do. If you are doing archan, but not honoring Vaishnava or others, oh, your archan is in vain. Or, Amanina Manadeva. 
will always glory to on our glorify others <laughs> Oh, I have learned something from air. Air has no gunk or smell. The smell. But where she goes, oh, it may be stool, urine, any rotten thing. She takes that bad smell, and her body goes to a in forest throw beautiful flowers like lotus belly chameli it takes its fragrance and after that she gets up everything and always pure so we should be like that so we should meet with so many persons deal with so many vishaya vishaya means sense enjoyers sense subject matter subject matter but don't be attached to anyone never only you should not see any person any quality or this quality in of this world you can see whether he is doing bhajan or not well don't criticize anyone if he is a person that he should be that quality is his style yeah. but even we should not she is all bad quality and we should not criticize him only we can give up his association but don't criticize anyone even a person is rare even if you would do all his bad qualities will come in you as water is always nirbal pure pure sweet hot and always sweet and by taking bath purify as in india bhagwati ganga if you will take bath you will remember even ganga then you will be pure so this sadha should be always pure how not by taking bath but not always thinking about bisha sense of sense what we think not all the thinking always meditate on krishna don't meditate on all these worldly things if a person is like that he can purify whole world or i have learned from fire as i
So regarding the guru named, named fire, saintly persons, they become very powerful by execution of austerities. Their consciousness is unshakable because they do not try to enjoy anything within the material world. Such naturally liberated sages accept foodstuffs that are offered to them by destiny and if by chance they happen to eat contaminated food, they are not affected. Just like fire, which burns up contaminated substances that are offered to it. So a saintly person, just like fire, sometimes appears in a concealed form and at other times reveals himself. And for the welfare of the conditioned souls who desire real happiness, a saintly person may accept the worshipable position of spiritual master. And thus, like fire, he burns to ashes all of the past and future sinful reactions of those who worship him by mercifully accepting their offerings. And just as fire manifests differently in pieces of wood of different sizes and qualities, similarly, the omnipotent Supreme Soul, having entered the bodies of higher and lower life forms created by his own potency, appears to assume the identity of each. Yes. So, then regarding the moon, the various phases of one's material life, beginning with birth and then culminating in death, are all properties of the body, and they do not affect the soul, just as the apparent waxing and waning of the moon does not affect the moon itself. Such changes are enforced by the imperceptible movements of time. Now, the time that I have taken teaching from sun, I have sun takes water from pond, rivers, big big ocean, ocean there is five and when time comes, oh, he gives it to whole world. And by that water we are living. In this way, a sadhak person, a devotee should be like that. What he collects, wealth or anything, at another time, he should distribute among all who needs. They should not be attached in that wealth. Like sun, they should distribute, they should donate it. Otherwise, they will be attached to them and they will die. <coughs> oh, I have learned something from it. Pizza. You. Damodhan Hare. Hare Krishna. So, one time, Gadachayaji, he saw there were two pigeons. So, one male pigeon and one female pigeon. So they became attached to each other. The male pigeon liked the female pigeon's feathers. They built a nest. After hard endeavor, some nice eggs came, very shiny. The father said, they look just like you. After due course of time, the baby birds were born. Their chirping was very cheap, very sweet. Day and night, the pigeons would run here and there, collecting worms, insects, grasshoppers. They fed, in this way their life was passing. But one day, the parents, they went away, and a hunter, he could hear the chirping of the babies. Therefore, he set some trap of some nice rice. So when they came home, then the lady pigeon, she said, let's go, let's eat. The husband said, beware, 
Have you ever heard of cooked rice just being freely distributed in the forest? It must be a trap. But did she listen? No. Therefore the baby pigeon birds went there to eat the rice and they were caught by the hunter. The lady was also caught in the trap of the hunter. And as when the husband saw his wife and children trapped, he began crying, My wife, my children, oh my dear wife, you are my shelter without you, how I can perform my religious activities. And he was lamenting the loss of his wife and children, but he forgot the hunter was nearby and the hunter took his own life. In the same way, sometimes someone dies or some calamity happens and we're lamenting for that person, for that unfortunate situation, but we are forgetting that our number is coming, that death is also waiting just behind us, that we learn from the pigeon. Cool. We should always remember that how the pigeon whole family was finished because there was so much attached. We should not be attached to our house members. We should support and nourish them as we devotees. But never attached. One day we will have to die. They will die also for them. <coughs> we should not be lament. Always see that they never die. They change their So he is permanent, transcendental. He has no birth, no death, nothing. So always remember. But at the time of any relative death, oh, as soon as you will die, you will cry. begin to cry. At that time, you should keep in mind all these things. <coughs> so, <coughs> a wise person, a devotee should not be attached to their children's wife and relatives. But <coughs> they can be with him. Without attachment, they can help them as a devotee. Shamarani, Pingala. One of the 24 gurus of the great sage Tadatraya, namely Pingala. He has already discussed how we should follow the examples of the air and the mountain and the trees and the earth and how we should not follow the example of the pigeons, how we should follow the example of the sun and so many other uh, others are discussed in between like the fish and the honeybee and the young girl who wore bracelets but Gurudev is skipping a little to the prostitute Pingala it so happened that this prostitute Pingala had some association with Dattatreya he came and stayed in her home and she served him and because of that service to the great saintly person we know the verse sadhu sangha sadhu sangha shava shastra koi lava matri sadhu sangha sarva siddhi hoi by a moment or a letter of a second association with a pure devotee all shastras say that one could become free from all ignorance, all misery, and actually develop the qualities that are mentioned in these 24 gurus. 
So Pingala, because of her association with Vedakshaya, she also got so many realizations, as prostitutes normally do, she was very anxious about money, and her means of livelihood would be to attract men to her home, they would give her money and engage in sense gratification with her. So one night, when Dhanatreya was inside her house, she was doing her usual outside-the-house activities of waiting for men and taking many, many different, very alluring postures to attract them. But nobody was coming that night. So gradually, as failure is sometimes the pillar of success, her life began to become successful. She stood in the doorway, and many, many men came and went, walking by her house. She began to get very frustrated. This was the source of her livelihood. And therefore, she anxiously began to think, maybe this one will come, or oh, he looks pretty rich. Well, maybe that one, but she kept getting more and more frustrated. So thus, in vain hope, she began leaning against the doorway. And out of anxiety, she would sometimes walk out into the street, sometimes go back into her house. And finally, on that very night, as the night wore on, because of her intense desire for money, gradually she became so morose that she could no longer tolerate it. And by that suffering and intolerance, because of the association of the sage Dhanatreya, she gradually started becoming detached. Krishna creates this material world with so much suffering so that it will be detached. The government creates prison houses, so that will suffer there, so we'll gradually come to understand, why should I act outside the government of the law? I should be a good citizen. So gradually, she was so disappointed that she began to feel great detachment from her situation. She began to feel complete disgust with her whole material situation, and became indifferent to it. Detachment acts like a sword, which cuts away the binding network of fruit of activities. And she began to speak just like a saintly person. Tama Krishna Prabhu. Huh? Tama Krishna Prabhu is ready for magic after your coach. She began to realize that what is the use of any sense gratificatory association with the opposite sex. And she said to herself, just see how greatly I've been illusioned because I cannot control my mind. Just like a fool, I desire lusty pleasure with insignificant men. And then she began to describe what these so-called men actually were. As it stated earlier, in the uh, discussion with the nine Yogendras, Pipala Rishi told King Naini when he asked, how can even a foolish person attain liberation, which is very, very difficult for one who has an uncontrolled mind to do? And he answered that men and women, not men and women, conditioned souls take the roles of men and women and try to enjoy sense pleasure. But the more they try, the more they become miserable. That's the nature of everything in the material world. So now Pingla, by the mercy of the sage, is getting realization that I am the soul. I'm not this body. How could I have been attracted to men, which is just a bunch of bones, forming spines and ribs and arms and legs, just like beams and cross beams and pillars of a house, covered by some skin and some hair and some foul substances. 
Our Prabhupada said that this body which we are soaping so nicely is just pus, blood, stool and urine and when it dies it becomes either the stool of an animal or insects come out of it or it becomes dust. So she began thinking that how can I expect love in this situation? Then she began to get very, very intelligent and she said, what is my foolishness? And what is the cause of my suffering? That I have neglected the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who awards everything, even our original spiritual form. And instead, I've desired sense gratification with men. Now, now that I've understood this, now I'm completely satisfied, with full faith in the Lord's mercy that He's arranged all this for me. He's arranged the suffering, He's arranged my association with this great sage. Therefore, I will now maintain myself with any money that comes of its own accord, just like Gurudev was explaining about the other 24 gurus, like the python. Something may come or not come and he's satisfied. I shall enjoy life only with the Lord. He is the only source of love and happiness. So then the Abhidhut concluded, and because it was by his mercy, now her mind was completely made, made up. She cut off all sinful desires to enjoy sex life with lovers. And fully peaceful, she just went home and peacefully went to sleep. So Gurudev said, this is by the mercy of the sage. And now she is also one of the 24 gurus. Thank you. मधुमाखीरा सब इकरे आज दो अन्य लोग नहीं है चले जाए और वही मधुस मधुस समय ना होता है इतना बोल दो अच्छा अमित अमित जानो so he told Ingla history a very beautiful first show young is and he was sitting on his place decorating hostel that this person will come and give me money. There is no love and attraction for anyone, love and attraction for only money. So all night, after midnight, she was waiting, waiting, waiting. This will come and give me money. Oh, none came to her. Oh, then he became detached and thought, if I, I will meditate on Krishna, oh, my life will be su successful. What these persons can give? They can give nothing. Hmm? I have thought that this body is very beautiful, but what, I, what it is? A bag of urine is told, blood, so many things, bad things. From outside it looks like that, but it is indoor always. So I am thinking this body. So we should not think this body myself. Don't be attached to this. Don't have any desire to have anything from anyone. If you are, you have devotion to Krishna. He will give everything that anyone in this world can give. If you have hope, you are Sharanagat to Krishna, then why to bother, why to mind for these, all these things? Don't be very. And then, a madhu, madhu and honey, honey take a person, you. Om Ajnana Timiran Dhasa Jnana Jnana Salakaya Chakshurun Mitam Jena Tasmai Sri Guravi Namaha As you have heard from Srila Gurudev, Riyadu Mahatari, Gattatriya, He not made them Shiksha Guru. They are not giving an instruction to Him, but seeing their action, He takes some instruction from them. 
why Krishna is telling to Uddhav and why Guruji is telling to us? Because there are so many instructions from there, there, then we can accept that instruction and we can behave in our life, then our life will be successful and be happy. So Krishna uselessly not telling to Uddhav. There is some hidden meaning there that all living entity, if they accept all these things, their life will be successful and peaceful and their mind will not be bothered to them. So just we have heard from Srila Gurudev and other Vaishnavas, about 24 Gurus of the Tatriya Rishi. So now Gurudev told about honey collector. The honey collector, they are collecting honey here and there. Honey collector connected with honey bee. What honey bees do? Honey bees are doing. They are flying one flower to another flower, not making any harm of the flower. They are collecting honey. And what they are doing? Bringing honey from distance and keeping in the beehive. Or we will take later in winter season when there is no flower. They are bringing here and there, collecting and depositing there. And honey collector, they are also searching honey honeybee. And honeybee, they are not putting honey always around uh, whole the whole year. The second time they collect honey and keep there, other time they eat it, drink it. So honey collector, they are very expert. Every sunny they are searching. And where they are doing? They are going there and collecting honey. And they squeeze the honey behind by that honey, the honeybee also spoils, finish their life. In the same way, if we only collect and collect, if somebody understand any gangster that you have so much oil, somehow or other they came to know, and if you not give them, they will by force take it in the point of gun, and here and the after end, they will finish you too. In honey collector, what they are doing? They are collecting honey, honey for themselves, not for others. For what purpose? For making money. In same way in this world, to maintain our life, we have to collect some money. Without money, we could not come here in Buddha, best puja, could not go here and there, something needed to maintain our life. If you collect too much, and what? Collect it for yourself, not donating to others. Just like here, son, we have heard from Sri Guru this. Some collecting water from here and there, from bad place and good place, even from ocean, and purifying it and storing in this world where it's needed. In the same way, okay, you can collect money, but time to time you have to donate this for the service of Hari, Guru and Vaishnava. If you are not do so, nobody knows when our death will come. Parikshita Maharaj is certain for seven days he will alive. None can say when our death will come. Maybe next moment someone can die, one day, two day, any time, many times we can die. None, anyone can die, none can say. So if you donate something for the service of Holy Guru Vaishnav, then by that you get Sukriti. And next body you get again human beings and you can do bhajan. So Mahaprabhu has told in Rupa Siksha and Chaitanya Chaitanya how to maintain his household life. He has to collect some, he has to deposit some for future, have to maintain something for your children and have to donate something for Holy Guru Vaishnav. If you do so, then your life will be successful and your mind will not be disturbed you. Otherwise, you have to finish like your own life, like honey collector finishing honey his life. So we have to collect such a way that not make any harm for others. Like business person and others, they are selling their products and making some profit. But not too much to say, oh, you have to must have to pay like this much. Then you could not be in competition market. So the honey is collecting here and a little bit, little bit. By this way you have to collect little and have to deposit for yourself, which Mahaprabhu called Rukhva Samipad. 
in Rup Sikhan for whole householder and have to donate. Otherwise, your life will be spoiled and which money you will left over, it will go to the government. Neither you get your benefit and nor your dynasty get any benefit. So if you do this for service of Holy Guru Vaishnava, then next body must come in human beings and to bhajan again come in proper lines. Hare Krishna. Banchanga Vata Rupa Jai Pravatan Tu Bhai Vata Kaitana Pravani Bho Vaishnava. Then Sanyasi again began to tell, <coughs> I met elephant my guru, Shiksha guru. Elephant are very, very attached to their wives. In forest, so many persons go to, uh, to help elephants from there. They have trained Hatini, sea elephant. sea elephant. And then they make a very big peat covered with green branches of trees. And then trained sea elephant goes to oh, uh, wild elephants very, very strong, and then he becomes attached to that. And then she elephant or push, pushes elephant and she comes in the pit. They don't give anything to eat or drink. for so many days. And when he, she be, he becomes very weak, the same she elephant will go. Same Sea elephant goes there with a chain. Chain. iron chain and she gives in the feet, of feet and in the leg of that elephant and then they take it out and they turn him and then say. So we should not be even touch a lady made by wooden even especially those who are sannyasis and red cloth brahmachari. For Grihastha, oh, they should live with them, no. But for sannyasis which has been told, then even a wooden statue, wooden Statue. A statue of a lady, they should not touch. Otherwise, they will finish, they will go to hell. Fish, you know, fish, how they. Don't remember? I remember how they catch the fish. I remember I remember I remember Fish, we can learn from the fish. The sage is coming here. How we can learn from fish? Fish is very, very attached to taste. Anything and everything which comes in the water. Yeah. And in that way, very easily, he is caught yeah, by the fishermen. So, we learn from the fish that we should control our tongue. We should not go here and there, whatever we see with our eyes or we smell or we want to taste, we should take it. Otherwise we will get caught and our spiritual life will be ruined. Yeah? We should learn to control our tongue. This is the teaching from the fish. Maker. 
first taught me absorbed in making arrow. She was she was so absurd that the marriage party with drunk beating passing through passing through. But she was so absurd that he could not hear, he could not solve that marriage party. Anyone asked, have you seen a very big marriage party with drunks men? Oh, I don't know. When is passed? So, a sadha, bhakti sadha, we like that. We one pointed. If anything going on around him, he should not be there. He should not think about their part nor see. Quite at first, one pointed in Krishna. Always hmm? remembering the sweet pastimes of Krishna and Uttam Vaishnava. So, he told about twenty-four gurus and he told that that is why I have learnt all these things and follow and that is why I am very happy and traveling in this whole world. Yeah. After that, Krishna again began to tell him, oh, one Krishna, you, you two sisters. Microphone. That harmonium is of Gokul, yours, yours, you can sing, whose? Tamal Krishna Prabhu ready as here. Tamal Krishna Prabhu ready as here. Magic is done. Tamapa. Tamapa, what do you say? Tamapa, what do you say? Tamapa, what do you say? Tamapa.
गुरु देवतात्मा गुरु देवतात्मा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण ओम ज्ञान त्रिपरांद ज्ञानांजन श्लाक्षूर मिलित श्री गुरुदे नम श्री गुरुदेव इज ऑर्डर मी टू स्पीक ऑन गुरुदेव आत्मा और स्पेसिफिकली द लाइन of Jaika Yesham Guru Deva Dharma. We spoke a little bit about it last night, but I felt like there was so much to speak on this one line of this very important sloka, explaining how important the spiritual master is in the life of the disciple. <clears throat> Our Srila Prabhupada used to always quote <clears throat> one particular sloka from the Svetasvatara Upanishad. There was the sixth chapter of the 23rd sloka, which was stated that Yasya Devi Parabhaktir Tatarevi Patagarao Tashaite Kapita Hyarta Prakashante Mahatmana That only unto those souls, only unto those who have complete and implicit faith, as much faith in the spiritual master as they have in the Supreme Lord, to those souls, Prakashante Mahatmana that all the knowledge, all the wealth of the Vedas will be revealed to them and it will become manifest within their hearts. And this is how the spiritual process works. And there's a verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the fourth canto, where Lord Shiva states very nicely explaining the glories of the spiritual master and of the Mahabhagavata. Atanarangris Dabakirti Kirtayor Antar Bahi Shnana Vituta Atmana Bhutesh Panaprosha Shushatka Srivam Shat Sangamo Anugra Hare Shinastava. Uh Lord Shiva is stating here that that the spiritual master, the pure devotee, his position is so exalted. That all of the holy places are considered, all the demigods and all the holy places are considered to live within him, to dwell within him. And Atanagangris Tavakirtitir Tayor Ankar Behi Shnana Viduta Patmanam. Patma, Patmanam is all of one's sins that one can acquire, and that by taking shelter of such a great soul, it's like taking bath. Shnana vituta atmanam. Vituta means cleansed. So all these sins that can be committed. And in Kali Yuga, which is an ocean of faults, an ocean of sins, who can say they've never sinned? All of these sins, though, can easily be eradicated by devotion to the spiritual master. That's why some people ask us, well, you're, you're so fanatic in your respect and worship of your spiritual master, I see you falling on the ground like a log or a stick uh, out of respect for your spiritual master. Isn't that a little bit over the top? And we, have, we should be able to understand and explain to them very clearly that the spiritual master is so much that he's considered to be the Supreme Personality of God himself. And every day we, we usually quote the Sloka Yam Prabhupada stating that this glorifying Sukadeva Goswami, who our Guru is following directly in his line, in the line of the Mahabhagavats, that, that he can enter into the hearts of all beings. And then the very next verse, Sri Prabhupada explained that Yakshwana Bhava Matina Shruti Saravetam Adyadma Deepam Atititir Shitam Tamo Andam Tamo Andam is the darkness of ignorance. The ocean of the darkness of ignorance. The spiritual master can he can put a light within one's heart that can actually dispel this darkness. And every time I have a chance to associate with Srila Gurudev, it's so markedly uh, noticeable what a difference one's spiritual life takes on. And this is due to the effect of the potency, the shakti of the pure devotee, that he can do this. And there are, there are many gurus and many people talking about 
Guru, I remember in his time, some of my god brothers will say, when are you going to put your papers in with the GBC so you can become a Guru? I said, I, it's, it would be almost laughable. But they would actually have these discussions. And I, since I've been with Srila Bruni, I've come to realize how foolish this is because one has to understand that the spiritual master has to have this quality of Shwanabhavam Akila Shruti Sharamekam. It means that he can, he understands through realization. Yakshwanabhav means he's absorbed, he's, he's realized all the importance of the Vedic knowledge, and therefore he has the potency. He singularly has the potency to transmit this knowledge into the heart of the disciple who has implicit faith, as much faith in the Guru as he has faith in God. So, very important point. And in terms of surrendering to the spiritual master, sometimes I feel we think that we can come and hear nice classes and nice haikata ah, and then slip out and uh, more or less, you know, es escape our duties of our position in relation to the spiritual master in terms of receiving this mercy from the spiritual master. And we think maybe the spiritual master has some fault and that we're not becoming self-realized immediately. But the fact of the matter is, as we surrender, then everything will come, and only then. As long as we're holding back something. Srila Prabhupada used to say, Krishna isn't seeing what you're giving. He's seeing what you're holding back, what you're keeping back. That one has to lay everything on the line for the spiritual master. And then, all kinds of success, all kinds of perfections, Prakashante Mahatmana will come because the spiritual master is all the Tirthas combined. Actually, Srila Vishwanath, Chakravarti Thakur, and Naradam Das Thakur both preached like this that it is a form of illusion to go to the holy places without understanding that without surrendering and respecting and loving those perfect souls who dwell in these holy places, who actually make the holy places, holy places. That's how they become kirtis. So, Tanagangres, Tava Kirti, Tirtayor, Antar Bahi. Antar means within, Bahi means without. Antar Bahi, Shnana, Tikbat, Viduta Patmanam, Hutishvanu Krosha, Shushat Vasilinam. This is the quality of the spiritual master. Shushat Vasilinam. Srila Bhakti Vinod said, his character must be impeccable. No, no doubts. Caesar's wife must be above suspicion, Srila Prabhupada used to say. And there's no question of being spiritual master if one is not on this level. I was reading how Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, before he left his body, Srila Prabhupada spoke that many will try to usurp the throne of the spiritual master. And our, and our Srila Prabhupada knew exactly what was going to happen when he left his body also. He could see many monkeys around him who wanted to jump up in his chair, who could hardly wait. Some could not wait for him to even leave his body. And he understood how he wanted us to know how futile. And it was a shame that so many devotees, we were all somewhat bewildered when he left. So I think that we all learned just a few of the slopes and surrendered like we should, then all of a sudden the, the mercy from within, the heart. Adyatmativam atikityashitam andam tamoandam samsarinam karunayaha puranaguyam. He knows all the confidential essences of the Vedas. These can become revealed within the heart, very mystically, but at the same time, very concrete. Very, the realization becomes real and success in one's life becomes real because poverty uh, I see among devotees sometimes and, and I, I wonder why is this it's not Vedic uh, this poverty, poverty among those who are ignorant, yes you, we can understand it but among devotees who have practiced chanting, dancing serving the spiritual master who is the embodiment of all the demigods why should they not have everything that is required. If there's some requirement, if there's some need there, it, it means that there's some hole in one's devotional service where you're losing. Something's, something's not being retained. 
So, I thought that this Bhaktyai Kayesham Guru Devatatma is one way of, of bringing the point right to the front that we have to learn how to really put everything on the line for Srila Guru Dev. Just like when we were disciples of Srila Prabhupada, we put everything on the line. And it was so magical at the time. And I found that there's no one on the planet except Srila Guru Dev. Srila Sri Maharaj gave it also after Srila Prabhupada left. But since then I haven't seen anyone who possesses such power and shakti, purity, force, that he can do what Srila Guru Dev has done. But if we would just surrender to him even one-tenth as much as we surrendered to Srila Prabhupada when he was here on the planet, what we could accomplish would be so great. And Srila Guru Dev is spending his entire life, I've seen it four in the morning, he's up translating working. I see him at the end of the day. You can see the fatigue, but he's going on. In Madhav Maharaj, everyone's working to publish these literatures. Nobody's distributing them. There, we have books, so we have rooms full of books all around the world. Radhanatha was done. We have a warehouse full of books. Malaysia has books. Everyone has books, but nobody's distributing. And whereas Sri Prabhupada, even though there's only a few left, few men left distributing them, they're still out distributing us. So we should feel like What's wrong? We, we have to surrender and then the reward will come. Krishna says, as you surrender, I will reward accordingly. So if we want the reward, we want the wealth, we want the riches, we want the happiness. The wealth of bhakti is what we're after. Something that cannot be bought with any amount of money. If we want this wealth, then we have to learn somehow or another, what does my spiritual master want and give it to him? Simply give it to him. And that will take a little bit of surrender, but that will make sure the Gurudev is so happy to see that, that, that we've taken this up sincerely and seriously. And then it, you can get become in Gurudev's inner circle. People want to be... Gurudev wants... I heard Sri Gurudev speaks that one should be so dear to the spiritual master that he should actually care for individually for you, for how you are eating, how are your meals, how is everything being provided for you. The Guru will actually have that much affection for you. And if we want that type of affection from Srila Guru Day, we have to give that type of affection. And that's what I mean when I say you have to lay it all on the line. Put the, lay the egos down. And then all perfection can come. Prakashante Mahatmana. All the knowledge of the Vedas be revealed. And everyone else, everyone can have a microphone and speak and, and be Guru. But until we learn how to follow Guru, there's no question of being Guru. And I speak this for my own benefit too, not finding fault in, in any of you all. Because I used to distribute a lot more books than I am now too. But still, everyone can buy a small box of books and put them in a little store, a health food store. As we, these, uh, the Way of Love, there's some of these books that... We have literally thousands of them sitting right now. And these books have the potency of people can pick them up. I know someone who picked up half a book in the playground. And as he walked across the playground, he didn't know why he picked up half the book. Someone had ripped it in half. He picked up the other half, put it together, read it, and came and joined. That the Lord is still in Alachua now. He's very fond of Shri Guru Dave. So we should understand that we don't know what's going to happen with these books. I met an elderly couple who said they were in a hotel in Cleveland, found a book on a lobby, and read the book and became devotees. So it's our duty, actually. We've been saved. Sri Prabhupada used to tell us, I have saved you. I've made you fortunate. Now you go out there and make everyone else fortunate. Tell everyone you meet all that you know about Krishna. And if you have fears, he said, if you'll just say once to Krishna. Please repeat, Krishna, from this day on, I'm yours. Thank you. Krishna, if one is sincere, says this one time, Krishna will take the control <coughs> of his life. Uh, thank you. Jai. Thank you. Thank you. One announcement tomorrow, there is a fire sacrifice at 9.30. A.M. and all the devotees who have taken either Hari Nam initiation or Diksha, they should come there by 9.30 a.m. where Srila Guru Dev is currently staying at that house. It will be done there in the lower part in the garage. And uh, the men who have taken Diksha, 
they should be clean shaven if they're not already unless they have some very important excuse that they cannot do that so all devotees should be there by 9.30 a.m. Oh, come on Krishna Prabhu, you should begin. Hare Krishna, Rindad. Just before you begin, uh, some extra announcements. Uh, Sri Padmanabha Maharaj is going to head up the uh, organization of the fire jagat tomorrow, and his uh, head helper will be Divaka Prabhu. And we're calling on uh, some of the ladies to come and help decorate underneath Sri Gurudev's house in the morning and also some men to come and help uh, collect bricks and things. So if we can just have a show of hands, who wants to help out? You please go and see Damodar Maharaj after the program tonight and put your names down and come tomorrow. Also, um, also we just wanted to thank everybody for the, um, the way they behaved here. Uh, the, the management here has uh, congratulated us on how we left the place last night. Uh, so I hope everybody can follow the same process tonight, use the tarps to eat on and also uh, help clean up later on. Uh, one more announcement is that tomorrow, uh, after the later class at 10.30 in the morning, which will be given by myself, uh, we're planning to go out here in Morwillimba into the local town area and do a big Harinam Samkirtan. So this will be highly auspicious for Srila Guru Day's festival. He loves to see the devotees going on Harinam Samkirtan. And if uh, the devotees who are attending the class here, we'll go straight out from here. So the devotees who are uh, at the fire yagya, if they're completed by them, they can come here. By, it will be before lunch prasada. We'll only go out for about a half an hour, and hopefully it won't be raining then. Hare Krishna. And uh, tomorrow also, because there's a fire yagya and because it's a festival, uh, we want to cook a beautiful feast for everyone. Sahadai Prabhu and a few of his crew work very hard to uh, produce some prasadam for everyone. Um, we're just asking a show of hands. We need five gentlemen and five ladies to help uh, with cut-up and food preparation or cooking out at uh, Sri Bajabal Prabhu's house. We have uh, five men already and some ladies, four or five ladies if we could, to volunteer to cook feast for tomorrow and tomorrow night. Can, they, can anybody come and see um, Mahaprabhu uh, after the program and we'll organize for you to get out there. And of course special mercy from Srila Guru Day by doing all these services I'm sure. Hari Hari Bhava. Again. On. Thank you. Please accept my humble obeisance as a Guru Day. Can you see here? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, boys and girls, he should bring his tabun here. Bring your tabun here. Jagannath. Slide the tabun here. Yeah. 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 Slide, slide. This is a magic trick in itself. No, 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 no. Slide, don't lift. <laughs> Uh, it's good to see. Okay. That's okay. It's good to see Brajanath do some exercise. <laughs> so, Gurudev has uh, instructed me to perform a magic show. <laughs> uh, for your likes or dislikes, you'll have to be the judge. Uh, recent uh, floods have uh, made things uh, well, especially practice. And uh, to follow in the footsteps of uh, Tamon Paha, eloquent uh, presentation uh, is a little daunting. What to speak of Guru Dave? Anyway, I just have a few little tricks here. And as I say, the flood has uh, created some problem getting here, in fact. And isn't it lovely that uh, we're not atheists? Because atheists are a non profit organization. And. Also, uh, atheists have a problem um, getting the insurance from an act of God. I have to commence with one particular trick, 
hopefully with some philosophical pen, one piece of rope, short. One medium piece of rope, short. Now I know that some of the tricks here today were, you probably remembered, I don't know how old you are, maybe hopefully you won't remember from 2005. We had a few, we had a few tricks then, and hopefully you've forgotten them. There are a few new ones, huh? And um, I'm just hoping that uh, your memories aren't that good. Anyway, three pieces of rope. Now who can tell me, or instruct me on what philosophy to engage with three, with something with three? Three gunas to my part. You sure? You don't want to change your mind? You happy with the mind you've got? <laughs> okay, three gunas. Mode of ignorance. Mode of passion. Mode of goodness. Which ones are we in? Hopefully we're getting there. Anyway, our guru Dave, it's no trick with this. Still the same piece of rope. No matter where we're coming from, Gurudev loves us equally, whatever mode we're in, or coming from, or going to. So, I'm, I'm endeavouring to perform some magic here with this first trick. That, hopefully, they all become equal. One, two, three equal pieces of rope. Oh, thank you. How come everybody's coming when the magic show is on? Even the kids are here. So, we have two pieces of rope, equal. We tie that in a knot. You remember me telling you some years ago about the miracle that Gurudev performed on my mother, Mother Malati? She's here. There she is there, Mother Malapi, with her sari on, looking beautiful. <laughs> now that was a bit of sleight of hand and deception. See, when you, when you did that, I switched the rope. Did you see it? <laughs> Anyhow, now we have three pieces of rope. And this is like, in spiritual life, there's the... Uh, various devotees, the, the, uh, uh, some who are foul weather devotees and fair weather devotees. Hmm? Foul weather devotees, when problems come along, they are reasonably fixed. Huh? In fact, in spiritual life, we're all like tea bags. Huh? We don't know how strong we are until we put in hot water. <laughs> so, so this one here, strong. This one sometimes we tend to slip a little bit, this knot. But, however, it is still at the end of the rope. So there's no. the mode of passion. In fact, John Wayne said it very well once. He said, well, well, listen, listen, good pilgrim, boy, you there where you see it. You can do the walk, you can do the talk, but can you do the walk? That's what it's like in spiritual life, isn't it? Trying to fulfill. Anyway, we have. Thank you very much. We have the short rope. We have the medium rope. We have the long rope. Okay. Now we come to the second trick, which is a very big favourite of Guru Dave's, and uh, I have to ask someone a very trusty, honest, very exalted, advanced devotee for his wallet. <laughs> what is? Ah, we have an illustrious devotee here today from uh, Lat Latvia, who has come all the way from uh, where he lives in Eugene, Oregon, that's an Irish, Irish province, north of California. Oh, do you have a wallet? Do you have a wallet? He's borrowing from others. He has rubles. Oh, you trust me? Good man, thank you. All I need now is some very kind person to offer five dollar note. You have five dollar note? <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Five dollars. Now it's not, it's a picture of my mother. You see? There she is there. 
Oh, I know it. Thank you. <laughs> Usually, Gude gives me, but he's not giving me enough Maha Dollar these days. Because he's not can cool. you start it. Where did you get this? Uh, well, on this means it's a little bit warm. Very on hot. Because now no rain, so it become hot. Sure. You sure you didn't? You can tell me. I'm a doctor. Where did you get this money from? Not about us. Oh, you stole it from him. Sure. Getting very hot. Whoa. 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 That was hot money. <laughs> Here we are. Where there's money, there's hope. I have another five. All the, see what you've done. Okay. Now, you see. Nothing in the hands. Huh? Picture of mother. This is a brutal. Huh? Children, you see? Nothing in the hands. Huh? You see? Behind the note? Nothing. Just the back of the note. It says, in God we trust, and the other side it says, everybody else pay cash. Okay. We fold it once. We fold it twice. We fold it three times. And once more for luck. Okay? Then, the miracle begins. Ah. Unfolding, unfolding, unfolding. $100. And you saw the other one, was given to me. It was <laughs> now, somehow we have to transport this to Guru Dave or his trusty assistant. Somehow or other. And to do this, I need the assistance of one boy about this high. Okay? Someone? They have the $500 note. Okay, let me see. You're good. You're good. You're good. He's a good boy. What's your name? Huh? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, you're a good boy. Now, you have to do this. I'm going to fold up like this. You have to watch it, see? Now, I'm going to put under here, like this. Now, feel the money. Feel? Good. There? Hold the money. Hold the money. I'm going to turn it back and do it there. Hold it there, okay? I'm over here like that. You got the money? Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, watch this. Who would you like to send it to? Madam Maharaj? For a change? Just for a change. <laughs> I'm not perfect, I'm not, I'm like this. Anyway, okay, you, see, you count. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? You're so... You have to take one book. Underneath. Got a mirage. Look underneath your cushion. Uh-oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you come out here. Yes, sir. You made a mistake. Hang on. Hey, you're good. <laughs> hey. You try again, huh? Hang on. Where's your pocket? Hang on. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. You grab all the money from the top. Okay? You try again. This time, think. Okay. Here we go. And three when you're ready yourself. Yes. Yeah. I think this time the magic's there. But I, I, I think you better look inside the cushion. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. Yourself? You're a good boy. Big round of applause for him. You know? He's a good boy. Boom. 
Så kan jeg så ikke noget, så lad os snakke. Okay. Det er sådan. Hvorfor er det ikke noget? Det er jo godt. Nej. Good, I was talking about death. Are we ready for death? Is life we should give? Uh, to give is life? I don't know if I'm ready for death. I'm just ready for the next thunderstorm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, I... You've seen this one before, but I think because all the kids are here, I think I'd like to meet Rocky Raccoon. The kids like Rocky Raccoon, huh? He's cute, isn't he? Huh? You're watching Blue Gadget. Huh? In 2004, I was traveling around the world with two swamis. We were flying from Atlanta to Switzerland. And the airline attendant, sorry, cabin crew lady, loved Rocky. And she said, oh, would you like some mixed nuts or a plate of something substantial? I said, because he hadn't eaten for three days since he was in Florida. You see, now Rocky's a little bit shy. Rocky, let's come back here. He can disappear, just like that. Anyway, so she came back with a plate of food. Oh! <laughs> he wasn't hungry, was he? Huh? And she even came up with a glass of water. It looks like you're going thirsty, Rocky. Mm. Anyway, so she was very sweet. Now another airline attendant came up and I said to her, thank you very much for your attention and, and your, uh, uh, you know, your, your love towards little Rocky Raccoon, your, uh, your service. And she said, sir, what are you doing with that live animal on the plane? You're not allowed to have a live animal on the plane. I'm going to tell the head steward and the captain about this. How did you get him on anyway? Anyway, so Rocky was getting, you know, a little bit upset because she wasn't sympathetic like the other lady, was she? So I said, no live animals on the plane. I said, Rocky, look out. <laughs> she said, sir, what are you doing? You said, no live animals on the plane. I said, Rocky, just play dead. Just play dead, Rocky. Anyway, she, she, she took off. And all the people in the plane looking at me going, as they do, when you kill a raccoon on the plane. I said, don't worry, I come from Manly Surf Club in Sydney. We, we performed mouth to nose resuscitation back then. We did. <laughs> and they're all looking. Oh, look. And you know what? He does he loves you. You watch. Boom! Oh. Okay, and what we do now, I know you want to take him home. We put him in the box. Put him in the box like that. Okay? Put him in the box. Oh! Rocky, you didn't do that very well. Anyway, he's gone. <laughs> Have a breakfast for a while, you think? Oh, money, 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 money. Okay, now, we have had this flood, I was saying. And, Guru Dave, I want to talk about a particular intriguing phenomenon that apparently has been happening for the 15 years you've been visiting our shores. It seems that whatever time of year it is, it can be any time, but usually two weeks before, you arrive, there's always some weather problem. Like recently, we just had a big flood, probably the worst in this history, this area's history, and some people experienced some distress. I did a little, but there was a lot of help, like Juggernaut, who came from Eugene, Oregon a week early to help, and other people. And then, when these things happen, sometimes there's a tendency to forget Krishna, to forget Guru, because of this distress, raging, like one has a picnic, everything's laid out, oh, that's lovely. And then a big bear comes along and destroys your picnic, like a flood does when everything's nice and, 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 and cool and, and, and well made and everything. Okay, then a few days later we get our intelligence back, oh, Guru Day must be arriving. And then when you arrive, there's a second flood. What is that flood? 
That is a flood of your love for us. Which helps us to forget the first flood. And, you know, we're talking about this. Oh, this is Rocky's cup. We're talking about the mode of ignorance, the mode of passion, the mode of goodness. And I have here, when one is born, there are certain anatas or impressions, usually for uh, ignorance of the divine image within us, uh, wealth, uh, byproduct, and celestial pleasures. It's like we have four legged animals sometimes. There are four legged animals, two legged animals out there. And I have one here, because without bhakti, without devotion in our heart, you're like a zombie. So I have a zombie in here. And I, I'm attempting, for the first time, to perform this trick, to bring this, to bring this, Out of his shell. He's just getting used to it. As his own will, you see, he's not he's not connected to Guru's will. You see, but sometimes when there's a bit of love and affection, they can raise up. seen the light. Huh? He's a little bit alive now. He's coming out of himself. And then sometimes they just float back huh? to where they all uh, he's gone home at least. That is the, the miracle uh, analogy of how Gurudev can, with his arrow, can pierce our heart to relieve a self-centre and enlighten us in some way to our true identity. Now, I'm coming to the last act, <laughs> the last trick. Now, for this one, another analogy said, when we were driving down here, she said, uh, you know, I, I hope your show is successful and I hope, I hope that everyone gives you a standing ovation at the end of your last trip. Huh? Well, rather you give your day a standing ovation after this last trip. Huh? Now, this trick originates from Australia, but you've never seen it. It's been around the world, hasn't it? In various countries. Huh? And it's called the Dunder from Down Under. Now, that's the dunder, that they try to they take on the plane, but they cannot take on the plane. And when they travel around the world, usually they have uh, allowed three check-ins. And if you put in PVC pipe, oh, you're allowed any you want, any you want. But that's one check-in, and it's very difficult to take on plane. So I've come up with a solution to the dunder problem. I've created a, a miniature pocket-sized version Huh? From the Danda tree. <laughs> this is a miniature version. See, they just put it in their pocket. Huh, Guru Dave? They get to the they get to the destination. They they place like that in a little water. And usually all it can take some minutes. It can take some minutes. <laughs> okay, now, I can feel it coming on there. Yes, 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 there is some action here. Now, thank you very much for being attentive and very kind and uh, showing some flaws. But now, I do ask you, and I think it's well deserving of Guru Dave to uh, show some appreciation by 
passing on my mother's wish to give me a standing ovation by offering to Guru Dave. Okay, now you see that dunder over there? That's not a dunder. This is a dunder. This is a dunder from down under. <laughs> Thank you very much. Transcendental Australia Festival 2008 Kidal.